Throughout this long night and morning, I have been thinking of the great loss we have all suffered with Michael's tragic death. For myself, I will miss his energy and intelligence, but most of all, I will miss his optimism, his belief that problems created by human beings can be solved by human beings. From the state office building in Portland to the governor's office in Salem, they gathered in incomprehension. In the state senate, they sought comfort in prayer. We seek your grace as we meet together today. Grace born in pain, filled in with compassion, lived out in commitment and promise, and fulfilled in love. In the state house, they sought solace in song. Some say love, it is a river that drowns a tender reed. Michael Frankie captured Oregon's imagination as he dealt with her most difficult problem. People in Oregon don't just sit there and watch TV when, and see something they don't like and complain to their wife or their husband. They pick up the phone or a piece of paper and a pencil and they write. They write me, they write the governor, and uh, I'm sensing a very strong popular outrage at the current inability of the criminal justice system to, to pull off its mission. He struggled to sell the biggest prison expansion in state history with the color of intellect and imagery. When you're talking about convict, it's a classification level. Jack the Ripper is a maximum security convict. Uh, Mary Poppins is a minimum. There Fox. were those on the inside Fox. of the Sorry. system Fox. who worried Sorry. he was too liberal. Oh, well, I don't uh, cotton to labels very well. I think that uh, as a former district judge uh, who has sentenced an individual to death, um, I don't think I fit too well into that category. There were legislators who worried about his budget management. There were those who interpreted his intellect as arrogance. No one questioned his commitment. And I think we need to do something to dig our heels in and say, stop, enough is enough. You cannot be a high volume career property criminal in Oregon, shooting everybody's stereo and money and everything else into your arm, and we'll just say it's okay. We're not gonna say that's okay anymore. He traveled to every part of this state responding to people's concerns and frustrations over the crime problem. He knew that building prisons was not the only solution, that helping children live better lives had to be at the heart of what we do to attack crime. The governor met with the superintendents of the prison institutions to make sure that attack continues. He appointed a Frankie assistant, Dick Peterson, as acting head of the corrections department. But those who knew Michael Frankie will tell you not to look at prisons and corrections for a memorial. If there was going to be a memorial to Mike Frankie, it wouldn't be something, a prison that had his, his name on it. He'd rather have a school. The Oregon capital on this sad day was a place of grasping for words to fill the empty place where a good man once stood. I'd like to read this poem. I think continually of those who were truly great, the names of those who in their lives fought for life, who wore at their hearts the fire's center. Born of the sun, they traveled a short while towards the sun and left the vivid air signed with their honor. Just remember in the winter, far beneath the bitter snows, lies the seed that with the sun's love in the spring becomes the rose.